Hi, welcome to this example on hypothesis testing for the proportion P from a binomial distribution. Now if you're not familiar with hypothesis testing from a binomial distribution, please look back at my introductory tutorial on this. Now, assuming that you've done that, we've got a question here, which I'll run through for you. In Luigi's restaurant, on average, 1 in 10 people order a bottle of Chardonnay. And out of a sample of 50 people, 11 chose Chardonnay. So basically, has the drink become more popular? And we've got to test this at the 1% level of significance. Now, we can model this on a binomial distribution on the assumption that the probability P of 1 in 10 people choosing Chardonnay remains constant and events are independent. And if that's the case, we need to define a random variable x. So we could say let x be the random variable, number of people ordering a bottle of Chardonnay out of a sample of 50, where x is distributed binomially, n being the number of trials, which is 50, and the probability p of someone ordering bottle of Chardonnay, as I say, it's here as p. Now, if we assume that nothing has changed, that the proportion still remains at 1 in 10, then we have the null hypothesis, which is given by HO, is that p is 1 in 10, 1 10. Now, if 1 in 10 people do choose Chardonnay, then out of 50 people, what we could expect is 1 tenth of 50, which would be 5 people choosing Chardonnay. But we've got an observed value of 11. So we have got an observed value, x being 11. And because that's more than the expected value of 5, there's the possibility that that proportion P has now grown. It is greater than 1 tenth. And this becomes our alternative hypothesis. So I'm going to write that in with the usual symbols, H1, and that is that P is more than 1 tenth. Now we have a significance level, and that significance level, which we're going to test at, alpha if you like, is at 1%, or as a decimal, 0.01. So we're going to reject HO, and I'd always strongly advise you to write this in most questions, we're going to reject HO if the probability that the number of people choosing a bottle of Chardonnay being greater than or equal to the observed value, which in this case is 11, given that HO is true. And if HO is true, we know that X is distributed binomially, where we've got 50 people, and the probability of someone choosing a bottle of Chardonnay is 1 tenth. Now we're going to reject HO if this particular probability becomes very unlikely, less than or equal to 0.01, that significance level. All right? So all we need to do is work this particular probability out and see if we do get a value less than 0.01. So we'll just come down here and we'll say that now the probability that x is greater than or equal to 11, given that HO is true, or I could just write that P equals 1 tenth, let's just do that, it saves a bit of room, okay, is going to equal, well, if we're going to work out probability x equals 11 or more, then we've got to do probability x equals 11, plus probability x equals 12, and 13, and so on, all the way up to 50. Well, obviously, that's very impractical, but knowing that all probabilities total 1, then we could do 1 minus the probability that x is 
less than or equal to 10. All right, given that P equals 1 tenth, given that we're assuming that HO is true. Now to work this out is going to still be lengthy unless we have the use of commutative distribution tables. Well, we have actually, here's an extract here from a set of tables where we've got N being 50 and we've got values of P across the top being 0.05 and 0.10. And from these tables, if we look down this column here, we get the probability of being 10 or less, which is 0.9906. So just put that in there, 0.9906. If you didn't have tables around, then what you could do is just work it out long ways by the formula. So if we just work this out, what we get is 0.0094. And 0.0094 is less than 0.01, 1%. So we can write that in as being less than 1%. So if HO were true, then the chances of getting more than 11 or equal to 11 people choosing Chardonnay is incredibly small, yet it's happened, okay? So, what we will conclude from this is that, and you need to write this down, is that we're going to reject HO. And we're going to say that there is evidence to suggest that the number of people ordering Chardonnay has increased at the 1% level of significance. Now, I do stress that there is evidence to suggest because this could be just a one-off that we've got 11 people choosing Chardonnay and it could still be at a 1 in 10 people normally do do it. So we can't guarantee it but there's a 1% chance that we have made the wrong decision. Okay well that brings us to the end of this example and I hope you've been able to follow that.